Just a quick video about testing a transmission fluid temperature sensor. You can see the readings there. We've got our gauge already hooked up. Terminals 1 and 2. Irrelevant of the transmission, but this is a Mitsubishi one. We're on 43 degrees, so it should be about... It goes down. Resistance reduces as the temperature goes up. So I'm just going to measure how that works because we are having a bit of a problem at about 70 degrees when the transmission fluid warms up on our scan tool at 70 odd degrees the torque converter clutch stops working now we're just over 50 degrees and we're on 2.9 kilo ohm now it's just approaching 60 degrees, slowly warming up, and as you can see it should be between 1.9 and 2.2, so that's pretty spot on, or pretty close anyway. you got to also allow that the ohmmeter might be out a little bit, and now we are approaching the trouble temperature which was about 70 72 degrees you can see at 60 degrees the air bubbles are starting to form in the water and we'll just take it up to 70 degrees there we go you can see that's on the on the actual sensor and we're on about 1.56 kilo ohms so it's a little bit hard to see on that scale. We've got to get it up to 80 degrees. And we're on 80 degrees on the sensor. And we're right in the range. But so far, the sensor is not showing any problems. And we are approaching 100 degrees. There we go, 100, 9900 on the sensor. And we are right within the range. We're at the top end of the range, but still within the range. So basically this loom, or this TFT, Transmission Fluid Tensure Temperature Sensor, seems to be okay. We're on 102. Water's boiling, you can see. And we are on 0.64, so a little bit higher than what it should be, but still sort of pretty close to those ranges. Because it's killer ohms, it's pretty fine sort of readings. Anyway, I hope that has helped. Show you how to possibly test one of those if you're having issues. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.